All right, guys. So anyhow, tonight we're going to talk about proportions on our buildings. Now, for you end scale guys, I feel that this is not correct in proportions. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to take, let me see, let me measure how much I'm going to take off of here. I'm going to take about three and a half feet off the top of the building or the bottom, whichever, whichever you want to do. And also on this side here, I'm going to make this a little bit more narrow. So the building will be reduced by a few, a few, point, uh, a few uh, feet. So I'm just going to take it apart like that and basically just run my knife across and we'll see what that looks like. Now, again, this is still on the, on the paper. And that's why you do it on paper, because if you don't like the way it looks when you first do it, you can keep adjusting it until you do get it the way you want it to be. So we'll go ahead and start doing this and see if it looks any better. You know what I should do? I should get this over here. And go down to there. Can you guys see that? Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right, so on, on the straight parts, I'm going to take off the top section. And then on the angle parts, of course, I'm going to cut it the same angle as, as it is now. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this down. And I don't know if it's going to be straight. And I'm not really worried about being straight. I just want to get the proportion right. See, already it's looking better. You didn't even take the tape off or anything. No, I just opened one side. I just untaped one side. Mm -hmm. Now, these measurements might not be 100%, but I can tell you right now, just by looking at this, the first wall I cut it, it already looks better. All right, let me get piece of tape. Right. So you were thinking this is only for the end scale, though? Yeah, I think the I think the HO ones look pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, especially when I had the the hopper car in there, it looked pretty good. Now it's just a little bit bigger than a hopper, and that's okay. Can you guys see that? Yep. Yeah. So what I did was I took I took five feet off of here, and then followed the same the same angle as this, and then I took five feet off of here. And to me, that looks a whole bunch better right now. So, if you guys are happy? If you want, to, did you put any any people doors in there or anything like that? One. Okay. Hello, Marty Eminem. Wait, 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 Marty. Why aren't you in the in the group? <laughs> He's guy. I sent you an email. Mm -hmm. Kevin Strange, GLE. How's it going? Lackawanna Rail fan. Good to see you in it. Pete Clark. Nice to see you. Yeah. <clears throat> so let me see how you guys are doing. Dan, you're N scale, right, Dan? No, I'm H O. You're H O. Who is the other end scale guy? I am, Benny. Did we lose someone? I only see five of us in here. Oh, Z Fantasy. There she is. Hello, Jerry. And Hello. I don't see I you, though. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Big D was in here, too. I don't know where he went. Joey Butsek, how's it going? School Cal School Cal yeah. River Valley, John, how's it going? Steve 87 PSAP, nice to see you in there. Nathan Pohl, nice to see you. Joe Sestito. <laughs> hey Joe, I need to talk to you. Do you know a Cynthia Sestito? <laughs> this is getting crazy. Hello, Container Man 68, my little brother. How's it going, my friend? 
Yeah, but Marty is not in, in here. He should be in here. I mean, he signed up for it. Marty, I sent you a link. If you want, come on in here. <clears throat> Once you guys are happy with the mock-up, then start doing your pla on on your cheap plastic first on your on your uh, for sale signs. Z, did you uh, see what we were talking about earlier? No, I just got here. Okay, well, we knocked off uh, five five scale feet from the end scale builds around the entire top of the building. I did it on the top. You could do it on the bottom, but I did it on the top. Are you having any better luck cutting? I don't know what that means, though, Vinny. That's okay. You, no, wait, wait, wait. You were having a problem with cutting some some paper last week or two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Two weeks ago is like a lifetime to me. Oh, I know like, that. Uh, I don't <laughs> even know what we were doing then. <laughs> well, we were starting the project that you're working on right now. Yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do, because if you look at it, does the proportions look good to you? Compared to what? <laughs> uh, just, just in your general, the way you look at it, the way you see it, does it look good to you? Well, I don't, it, I don't know. It looks like a slanted, weird building that the train can go in. Okay, what I'm thinking is that it, it's just a little bit too big. And that's why I decided I was going to cut down five feet around the entire building. So if we uh, if we take five feet off the Vinny bottom, that uh, yeah, five feet off the bottom Vinny, uh, <laughs> that won't allow us much room. Like if we're putting on the layout to right. paper red bed. And, uh, if you if you wanted to, you could do it that way. But I took it off the top, and that's where you should take it off. You should take it off the top. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying though. Like if if we took it off the bottom, right. that doesn't give us room for road bed. Right, and then you would have to you have to make the door bigger. So yeah, so one way or the yep. other, you, you can do. It. I I took it off the top. It was a lot easier. Hello, Mr. Bruce Jero. How's it going, my friend? How do I personally respond to you guys? I don't understand what you want to do there, Joe. You want to? How do you personally respond to to you guys? Just put it in the chat. We don't see all the chat, though. Oh, Hello, Heath. Is. How are you, buddy? Hot rod ride, Greg. You can make it in tonight, my friend. Mm -hmm. EP 368. Glad you can make it in. There it is. There it is. Yeah, I was going on about the that droid cam app for my cell phone, and now it's quit, and I can't get it back up. <laughs> oh, no. Technology, isn't it great? Oh, yeah. Uh, so if, if we have a break for an intermission, then uh, I'll see if I can get it back up again. Uh, Joe's having some problems. He types in the first couple of letters, but but the person's name does not come up. It should. Oh, you, have, you, uh, you have to put the and sign if you're on a PC. And then it'll it'll come up. But if you're on a phone, it doesn't work.
You're in the hot seat, Dan. All right. Well, I'm getting out my angle gauge here. And I'm thinking about gluing up the wall. Um, what what's the best glue you think to use for this uh, for sale sign? I got uh, I got the Tamiya uh -huh. extra thin, and I have the Model Master, and I have this stuff. I would use the Model Master. Well, the, the remember, it's, is not, to me, it's going to be real thin to do what you're going to be doing right now. It's uh, it's testers, but it doesn't say Model Master on here anywhere. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Tester's doing the Model Master brand anymore, but I think that's the same glue. Does it say for for plastic models, cemental plastic yeah, models? Uh, non toxic for plastic models. Okay, there you go. That's fine. Uh, we'll try it. We'll see if it. Yeah, uh, try it. Works. Th 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 that's going to be a um, a choice that you'll have to make for yourself. Which glue you think is the best? for what you're doing. Now, all you guys, uh, for next week, I want you all to pick up a pack of number 175 Evergreen. Evergreen strips. One seventy-five. Oh, I got, got some. some. You got some? Yeah. Cool. All right. You're ahead of the game there, buddy. All right. <laughs> What's an Evergreen strip? It's a styrene strip. Show that again, uh, Dan, so uh, Z can see it. Okay. Z, you can get that uh, uh, hobby bench. Yeah. Okay. So if you look for the numbers, that's the easiest way. Just find the 175. Right. And that you're going to be using for corner bracing and for other types of bracing, like on, on what you're doing right now, Dan. Okay. Uh, because it's so weak, you're going to have to put a piece lengthwise. Or two pieces one on top, one on bottom, just to keep it straight so it doesn't warp on you. Okay. Five scale feet, huh? Five scale feet. Go do it from the top, not from the bottom. I'm watching you. Oh. That's gonna make that very small there. Is that supposed to be like that? Uh well your your magnifier isn't part of it. Now what are you talking about? Show me. So this is gonna be down quite a bit. Yes. Yes. Not not is that five scale feet? N scale. N scale. Five. All right, let me measure mine. Hold on a second. Don't cut. Let me make sure what I did. Uh, your front wall should be 22 feet. Yeah, the right front, there. The high one or the low one? The low one should be 22 feet. So measure from the bottom up. 
Okay. One and one and two. Okay. Pretty right. close to the, that. Right. Yeah. Just go ahead and make it straight across there. Excuse me. Straight across? I mean, no, not straight. Follow the same angle. So you're going to take five feet off of that corner also. Yeah. Okay. I did. Okay. So just go ahead and draw, cut it and do the same to the other side. And then the two walls have to be the same. Okay. Can we just measure our for sale signs again? Well, we're gonna I, use want, I, want you, I want you to get the, the mop-ups to where you're happy with it before you start cutting plastic. Okay. And what I was telling the guys earlier, earlier before you came in is I was not happy when I looked at it, the sizes that I gave you guys the first time. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dave. Sorry to hear that, buddy. <laughs> Was that uh, uh, tester's glue? Is it like a little bit on the on the heavier side? It's not, yeah. not, very, it's not very runny, right? Right. It's kind of gel. -like. Okay. All right. It's pretty much the same as what I have then. It smells like that lemony glue I used to use when I was a kid. The model glue. Uh. <laughs> let's see uh, let's see what someone else is doing over here <clears throat> I'm watching you Alan okay so we're gonna start over uh oh okay well since since I decided late that I was going to do a different scale, I should probably do this in a different scale. Okay. <laughs> so. That's one one good thing about scratch building is that you can change stuff on the fly. Yeah, I remember the thumb under the table. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You got it. <laughs> um, probably just I need a sharper blade. I don't know. Oop. I'm just having better luck this time. And 
another little another little hint you can do when you're cutting your stuff is spread your fingers out. I have tiny hands. I can't even reach an octave on a pole on a camera. No, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I can't either. The other funny thing is I used to play bass and I could not reach the uh, octaves if I wanted to reach the octaves. Mm -hmm. Dude, I got small hands myself. I always have to, like, it's like hard to get over the black keys. I gave that up. I hope you're not getting too much glare off my bald spot container, man. <laughs> I saw that comment you made a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, let's see what uh, what old Nathan is doing now. Uh, struggling with the glue. Struggling with the glue. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wouldn't squeeze that so much that way you'll hit your camera. <laughs> what kind of glue is that? Uh, it's a uh, Loctite. Oh, okay. I, uh, I'm not sure what it's called since the label is almost gone. Super safe. <gasps> I, I know I didn't change this blade, but it's sure cutting better this time. I'm not sure the measuring is any better, but <laughs> the cutting's better. It's gonna it's gonna take time for you guys to get you know get the measuring stuff down and all that kind of good stuff. You know, it's it's just not gonna happen overnight. Uh, let's see who else we got in here. Are you going to Z scale? I mean, uh, uh, N scale, Alan? Yes. I'm crossing over to the dark side. Nice. All right. I love <laughs> it. Way to go. I love it. <laughs> Got to like a challenge. Whatever. <laughs> so good. This is double, I don't want double sided tape. One of the most important parts when you're doing a scratch build is your measurements. That makes sense. <laughs> I still have pieces on the floor that I threw over my shoulder last week. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, screw this, this is what's go. That was fun. <laughs> I like having a playroom. It doesn't matter. So cool. what are you guys supposed to do if you get frustrated? Uh, take a break. Go to the beer. <laughs> go to the beer fridge and grab a beverage. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> right. Or grab a root beer. That's what I meant. Oh, of course you do. Beer. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, me too. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Lost my tape. I need it somewhere in this mess. Oops. Right there to the right of your glue. 
gonna put everything in here. Overhead shot, Sean. What's that? That's a nice overhead shot. Oh. <laughs> Where did my brushes go that long? On your table there to the left. Your desk to the left. Where? Left. Other left. Other left. Yeah, yeah your other left. left. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The wife and I we share a hobby table and she's doing her scrap some of her scrapbooking tonight. Mixed so. media. Sorry. Mixed media. <laughs> It's a good thing I saved all my measurements from a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. They make erasers. I'm done. See ya. <laughs> Vinny, I'm liking the testers a little better. It sets faster. Yes, it does. That's one reason why I like it. And that is why you measure a couple times and only cut once. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Sherry, that looks really good. 
Thanks. That'll work, huh? So That'll now work. what? All right. If you're happy, are you happy with it? Sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much to judge it on. Well, you have to judge it on your on your own perception. Do you think it looks okay? Yeah, it's you, square enough. Do you I mean, have a hopper car that you could put inside there? I do. So let's what kind of there? little thing? If I already tried that, I put it on my track and ran them through it. Oh, you did. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I lost the track of it. Hopper? Uh, can I use anything? Yeah, well, you could do whatever you have. Just put it in. All there. I so have it. is box cars. That's fine. Any hoppers. I'm waiting for my HO hoppers from Sparky. Yeah. No, they might be box, box cars too. Yeah. If I had the thing straight and there was track, it would go in there. Nice. Yeah. I mean, that, that could be a that could be a shed for a grain elevator. It could be a shed for maintenance. It could be a lot of different types of sheds. You could go into to another dimension, come out a whole nother nice. <laughs> idea. Go yeah, inside one way in, in 1990 and come out 2020. There you go. Now, um, do you have enough room on the top of that car in the doorway? Yeah, I think, so. I mean, let me see if I can show you. I think so. Oh, yeah. 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 The yeah, it goes in and out easy. It's got lots of clearance. It's, it's yeah, right. good. What I would do, the next step for you, Sherry, would be to get, actually get a piece of track, put the piece of track, and then put the car on the track and put it in there and see if you have enough room on top of the car. Let's see. I do have track. this tracky that I can do that with. Uh, I'm curious. Does it have to have a car uh, going in and out of it? I think I made a mistake. Uh oh, you made a mistake. No way. Come on, we don't There's make no such mistakes thing. around here. Um, Especially not Nathan. Uh, because of my autism, I have struggle with measurements sometimes. Uh -huh. I don't uh, have any. Excuse. Nathan, that's, it looks like he made some sort of like a uh, an office building or something. You just made a different kind of building, is all. Yeah, that's it. You just made a different building. It's okay. Um, You're that's pretty, right. Just the yeah, idea right. of getting used to doing it. Uh. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I think I think I uh, um, I think I know like 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 measure one inch, two inch, but if it's like a four inch or something, I get I get uh confused. That's part of my disability. All right, but that whatever you whatever building you built right there looks pretty good. Mm. Turn turn it around a little bit. Let me see what it looks like. Flip it around. Yeah. Yeah, it looks That's very to it like it's too scale. It's uh Yeah. And everything looks square. Yeah, it does. It looks good, Nathan. Oh, thank you. Now, are you all you well you got you have you said you have a little disability with measurements are all your measurements on on point uh i would say about an inch or a little off but i think it's overall not too bad and did you put your side walls inside your front and rear walls or vice versa uh i i put my side walls both uh inside Okay. All right. Just want to make sure. But that looks that looks good. You do a paint job on that and put some windows in there. And you can put that on your layout and be proud of it. Yeah. Yeah, my type of disability is autism. But I'm happy with the building so far. Well, it's good for a hopper car. I don't think a box well box car might fit as well. Well, again, if you want to, oh, you got track there. Okay, 
Yeah. But she's not going to be using that for a box car, really. My no. box car goes on it fine. All right, stop bragging, Missy. <laughs> oh. I probably just didn't do the dimensions right. <laughs> the box car fits just fine as well. Yay, see? Yay. <laughs> now, another thing you got to think of, Dan, is are you using cork? Um, I am in my yard, yes. Okay, so now if you put a piece of cork under that track, will that car still fit in there? Um, I would have the the bottom of the uh, building would be up on the cork. Okay, all right, so that, yeah. that, that will work then. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so it wouldn't be just the thing. But I'm thinking of adding something like an office or something off to the side, like a little bit smaller uh -huh. uh, and then having like a you know like a tool shed or or right. office part of the front and have it and, be and that's that's a good thing about scratch building you can always add on to what you're already doing i thought we were going to add on the structure we made the first week oh this is the first structure you're still working on it no i made something else i made this uh we didn't tell story you thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah we just didn't tell you that you were wrong <laughs> 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 at least at least it's like not to make you feel bad type yeah of thing. we thought well he'll catch on <laughs> he's kind of right i'm a bad guy <laughs> but... mm. <laughs> nah. it's okay <laughs> i like gotta find room on my layout for it though you know we're not gonna admit that we did something different this is why are you doing it on the on the paper now so you can make all the mistakes you want right now. <laughs> yeah, but guess what? <laughs> all the mistakes won't be on this one. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Now what's next? We're not done yet, young lady. <laughs> Vinny, would the would the roof slope to the back of the building or to the front of the building? Uh, I would think away from the grain elevator. If you're using that as a grain elevator shed, I would do this, the lower side away from the grain elevator. Right. Well, then I was thinking if it was a building, something different, you would want that to slope away from the entrance so rain and stuff wasn't coming off the roof, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And also, you could vary. You could vary this build. Also, you could put a square top on it instead of an angle top. Right. And you could make it longer or shorter, whatever. You know, I mean, there's a lot of different variations you can do with just this one little structure that you guys are doing right now. Well, that's good because I'm probably working my way through most of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we just instead of 27, it's 22. And let's see, what's my measurement here? Yeah, twenty-eight. Okay. So I, I do my sign now, right, Vinny? You, if you if you're happy with the way the mock-up came out, yes, you can start on your sign. But remember now, you need to send the sign down before you start working on it. I did that two weeks ago. Okay. <laughs> um, so I never did get any dimensions for these little umlaut things here. Uh, it's it's hard to say what the measurement for that's going to be. Okay. I would just try to eyeball it. it. Yeah, just eyeball it. Okay, I did that. It works I just out. went uh, at a 45 from the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, let's see if I can remember what I did with my sign. 
Here's your sign. <laughs> sign, sign, everywhere, sign. <laughs> Um, yeah. What did I do with those? All right, I think I lost my camera. Yes, you uh -oh. did. And <laughs> go to the other camera. Good thing you have a spare. Oh, they're right here, ready to go. What the heck? Come on down. Which side do you sand? I sanded both sides, actually. Whatever I was telling um, Dan earlier, uh, whatever side is going to be on the outside is the side you should stand down because the paint will stick a lot better to it. Uh, and also the corners of where you're going to glue, you need to sand down also. So I would usually just do both sides. That's what I was doing. And the well, edges. I did that, but I didn't do the edges. So I'll have to sand those as I cut them. There you go, Dan. You're back. Yeah, I'll have to stay on that one. It, it lost the webcam. Are you getting ready to do a green screen, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> I bought some of that material, like you said. I found it at Walmart. Oh, you did? Yeah. So. You bought ma oh, is that what you use for green screen? Material? Yeah. Yeah, it's material. It's okay. actually, and I really don't like saying this word, but it's actually Muslim. 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 Yeah. Yeah, Muslim. Muslim. Yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. Don't laugh at me. I'm Italian. Leave me alone. There's <laughs> no excuse. Huh. So this green muslin. Yeah, it was in. They had it in the uh, fabric department. I had them cut a couple yards of it. And, uh, huh. Have you tried it yet? Or? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, we lost him. Yeah, we lost him again. Him. Lost you again, Dan. Might be his internet. Now, do I cut this with my exacto blade? Say again, Sherry. You just cut your sign with your exacto, right? Yes, of course. Okay. Thank you, Grandpa Rails. Hey, John. Okay. Well, isn't that adorable? I see. That's awesome. There's the big one. There's the little one. Oh. <laughs> wow, you wouldn't think it's so much difference, but look at it. Yeah, so, that's why I'm like, am I off like, or that's no they're i mean they're pretty no, small they're... wow now do you, have an in card that, do you have an in-scale card that you can put in there what now i need trains <laughs> <laughs> you could make a no. train uh, no i don't have one. Oh man well like, i just uh, got a, a locomotive there you go. Could, put it in. Could be a locomotive. Well, now I have to shop. open it, though. Is it a tank okay. engine? There we go. We could do an unboxing. <laughs> do an back, unboxing. And I have a, a, a green screen. Oh, yes. Look awesome. at that. How cool is that? Yeah. Oh. That looks really nice. Very nice. Uh, um, I I'm curious. Uh, I wonder if you can do a Ruddy Northern picture of one of those diesels. How come I got two showing up there? Yeah, I'm curious. Oh, now this cutting. Uh, how is this going to work? I had to get my green screen going too, Dan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh. What the heck? Ooh, that looks awesome. Those type of trains reminds me of what the Red Day Northern has. They uh, mm -hmm. remake some of them, and some of them uh, basic. Oh, my favorite. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. 
Uh, what type of locomotive is that? Into Mountain. Uh, it's a Bachman, actually. Oh, is it a Bachman? Yeah. Uh, what type of locomotive is it? Like 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 a GP30 or something? Uh, GP40. Ah. Okay. Close. Oh, it's just about right. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Ooh, you, come on. you did something right there, bud. Yeah, for once. <laughs> I'm not the local <laughs> idiot anymore. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm always curious why GP3 has the um, top roof like this. I, it looks cool, but I'm curious. The, the uh, G30 has the curved roof. Yeah. I used to have a couple of those way back in the day. Running order still runs uh, some of them on on his railroad, uh, Andy's. <laughs> yes, track is on my eBay list, Container Man. Yeah, and it might raise it up just a little bit, but I'm not going to have cork under it. And you can always you can always make the door a little bit bigger. Right. Remember one the one rule you need to remember is you can always make something bigger, but you cannot make it smaller. <laughs> hmm. Without great difficulty. Well, I mean it can be done. I mean there's a couple of scratch builds that I screwed up where I had to adjust the opening that I cut because I cut it too big. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's just using a couple of pieces of uh, you know styrene to fill in the gap, and then once it's painted, you, you really won't even notice the difference that that's, that's been repaired. And that's another thing. Contain Container man just brought up a good point. Also, always raise the building up with cork. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So really, is no no problem with the door actually. Oh. Is it a so good the idea? whole, yeah, like the whole building could be sitting on road. Well, bed. just yeah, you would just have to leave the open, where the door is. Just don't put cork there. Just put it mm -hmm. on, on the walls, on the on the outside okay. wall. And you could raise it up by that eighth of an inch or whatever that is. Okay, that's cool. Oh, uh, really? Uh, <gasps> Vinny, I saw Evergreen makes like tin roofing that's already uh, pre made in the sheets. Impressive. Uh, now, let me tell you one thing about if you buy their metal roofing kit that they have, you'll get one sheet of styrene plastic with a bunch of cuts in it, okay? And you'll get a bunch of, I think they're number 100 styrene strips. You'll get a bunch of those and you gotta put it together yourself. Okay. So, and that cost about 12 bucks, okay? You can buy a piece, uh, uh, the, the smallest styrene sheet, okay? Um, let's say 30 thousandths, and you could buy a pack of the 100, uh, styrene sheets and it'll be five dollars cheaper but you got to do the work yourself so you got to make the cuts you got to make your cuts okay. and the only reason why you're making those cuts is so you so when you put your glue and you go down that line it stays in the line you don't get sloppy and go all over the place that's the reason for the cuts oh, okay and then you just take your one number 100 i think it's number 100 uh and you just place it in there after the glue is in and it, it'll take you a while. I'm not going to say it won't, but it'll take you a while, but you'll save five bucks. Okay, so I want you guys to finish up. If you're doing the plastic now, get, finish up the plastic, glue the walls together. But next week when you have the number 175s, I'll show you what we're going to do with the number 175s. Okay. Is that a thicker material? 
That is, uh, ever, it's an evergreen product, number 175. The product number is number 175. And they're just strips. They're just strips. Dan, what kind of uh, siding are you going to use on the outside of your building? Uh, let's see. I've got some novelty siding with uh, facing 0. 0.60, 60 thousandths. And then what are you going to use for the roof? Are you going to do that, what I told you about the roof, or are you going to go yeah. out and buy it? Yeah, they have... Uh, I'm going to do that because I like that, that look with the, the wide uh, uh, panels with the, the strips separating them, you know, right. like a tin roof. Right, right, so, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll do that. I'll probably make it myself. Now, I want to show you something. I, I picked this up. This is HO size roofing. Okay. We don't see you. You don't see me? Hold I on. still see Dan. Okay, yeah. hold on. Screen. I got to get rid of that Dan guy. <laughs> <laughs> Out you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Now, oh, this, okay. Is, this is a JTT product. And you can see the spacing on here. Yeah. Now I measured that spacing. This is supposed to be HO, but I measured that spacing and it is two scale feet in, in uh, N scale. So I will be using uh, that on that major uh, train station I'm gonna be building. That's gonna be the roof of that building. What was it? Show me again, I, I missed it. Oh sure, see how you are? <laughs> and I waited even. Oh yeah, is that styrene? Yes, it is. Huh. Oh, it's got all your. And where'd you get your, that from? Uh, I got it on, off of eBay. Uh, it, but you can go right to the to the company. It's called JTT Architectural Model Parts. They have a nice variety of stuff. I also got from them. The uh, brick siding I'm going to use for that build. Cool. That's it's cool. Also, it's also a JTT product. JTT. JTT. Something. All uppercase. JTT something something. What? JTT uh, uh, architectural. Let me see. Let me get it again. Hold on. Architectural model parts. There you go. Architectural think, model parts. Let's see. Uh... Yep. Okay, so now the tricky part. Now the tricky one. Wait, uh, JTT something, sorry. JTT architectural model parts. Right. And this, this was fairly cheap. If you want to go with this, uh, Dan, this is fairly cheap. Okay. There's, there's two of them in this package, and they're eight, eight and a half by 11. Yeah, that so looks good. Yeah, this, this would be a good roofing product if you yeah, want to hear it. Okay. Uh, CV, uh, where'd it go? CV Railroad asked if my building is O scale. No, it's it's HO. Yes, you can answer. JTT doesn't only make trees, they do make scenery products also. Cool. In fact, in fact they were the only ones I was able to find saguaro cactus. So that was pretty good. Uh, Lackawanna Railroad says JTT has some nice stuff. Just have to watch JTT. Sometimes it's smaller scale. Sometimes the HO is one one hundred scale. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. And because oh. of the, because of the size of the one one hundred scale, it kind of works for both HO and N scale. And I was kind of doubting it because this was. Let me see what, if there was a scale on this one. Uh, 
two packs, seven and a half by 12, 19, da, 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 5,000 thick. No, five, mil, five, five tenths of a millimeter thick. It does not give any other specifications other than that. They have roofing, flooring, siding, rock, stone, brickwork. They have all kinds of stuff. You need to check these out. If you guys are going to start doing some scratch builds, you need to start checking some of these other companies out that you can get what you need to build your buildings. Is, um, is building with wood, would you say, harder or easier than styrene? The only thing I don't like about the wood is that uh, if you don't do it right, when you paint it, it might warp on you. Okay. The person that you need to talk to about wood kits, uh, wood products, uh, would be uh, New Haven Rails, Ron. Yep. He does okay. a lot of wood, wood structure builds. Is he building HO or N? He's HO. Okay. Does it depend on the type of wood? Well, he, I don't know if he, well, it depends. The kit, whatever the kit comes with is what he uses. Oh, okay. I don't think he's ever done any scratch builds with wood. I think he's always done just kits. Okay. Anyhow, he was talking about that last night. What's that? Tom, on Tom's trains and things, was talking about that last night. Oh, okay. Wow. Hmm. I uh, met him one time at Steamtown. <laughs> oh, yeah. That sounds fun. Oh, uh, Vivi, I'm curious. I wonder if you could, uh, what if you could change your background to a ready northern. <laughs> well, curiosity, you don't have to do it. I'll, I'll work on that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, JD. He I appreciate could. the uh, input, buddy. <laughs> he could if he wanted to. Let's see what Sean is doing here. Sure, see how you are? I just want to make us all sick. <laughs> that looks good. Ooh, impressive. And you got you got road bed under there too, huh? Yeah, it's just a re-railer. Yeah. Okay. That looks good. You got plenty of room. Yeah, I think so. Even if I were to put a piece of cork bed underneath that, I think it would be all right. Yeah, 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 no problem. Yeah, because you would just put the the road bed on the on the two side walls. Yeah. All right. Well, that looks good. That looks Thank really you. Good. So now, just hang on to that. I mean, you could, if you want to, put a people door in there. If you want, if you want to put a window in there, you can do that also. Um, let me see something here. I got some. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to run this across the bottom here. You can see where to get the windows and doors and stuff if you want. Windows and doors from the first guy, that's uh, Grant Line. And then you got Evergreen. And then you got Yankee Dabbler. And also Teaching Group. I didn't put Teaching Group in there for windows and doors also. Breaking this, Sean. <laughs> Just trying to get this camera set back up again. There we go. All right, kids. We have spent an hour. Been an hour already. 
Well, yes, sir. when you're having fun, it always goes really fast. So <laughs> if you guys want to enhance on that a little bit, you can. You can put windows and doors in there if you want. You can actually add, like uh, Dan's going to do, he's going to add some side buildings uh, that you can do. Uh, but please have the number 175 for next week. Um, Sherry, like I told you, you've got a hobby bench. They have a good, stock, a good supply of uh, evergreen there. Number 175, Evergreen Strips. Strips, right. All right. Will do. All right, guys. Take care and appreciate you all being here. And I hope you Thanks, guys have a night. Thank you, Vinny. Bye. Yeah, thank you, Vinny. Thank you, Vinny. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.